Welcome back again, guys, and thank you for joining me today. So in this lecture, we're going to be converting arrays into strings. So again, this is section four, lecture six. So let's jump right into it. So converting arrays into strings. So we want to use the join operator, or I'll say the join function. And the join function is just a function to actually do the work for us. So it converts an entire array into a string. So the join operator, it takes two arguments or two parameters, which the first one is just a separator of string type. So it's just a string character to separate the values in an array. And of course, our second parameter is the array itself, the entire array to convert. Specify a string character as the delimiter to separate the values. Again, this is referring to our string separator or our delim delimiter, how we want to separate the values in an array. So my favorite is either a comma, because usually sometimes with a space, um, you want to, your string or your value may be, may have um, included spaces. So it's good to use just a comma um, for a string delimiter. That's just my own recommendation. So for example, we create and declare our array and our shortcut values is using the QW operator. And this time I just use forward slashes, the beginning and the end instead of my parentheses, and we just declare some values separated by spaces, which is one, two, three. After that, we declare our scalar string variable, which is my string from array, and we assign it the join operator. And again, our first argument, we have to put double quotes because it's a string, and I used a comma for our delimiter or our separator to separate our values in our string. And of course, we just pass in our full array, which is my underscore array. And that's pretty much it. So the join operator does all the work for us. So again, let's put this in action and let's do some quick and fun examples. So we start by first declaring our array. So let's just set up our array, my array, and we assign some values to it. So we'll use our new favorite operator, QW. And again, this time I'll put two forward slashes to start and end our values, followed by a space. And I'll just type the numbers one, two, three. And again, they're all separated by spaces, our values. And I'll create a scalar variable called the my string array and we assign it our join operator and again our first parameter we want to use a string character to separate our values which I'll use a comma to separate our values and for our second parameter we just pass in our entire array, which is my underscore array. So I'll copy and paste it in for our second parameter in our join operator. And let's just print our new string. So again, I'll put double quotation marks to include our favorite new line character and I'll take our scalar variable string, copy it, and paste it into our double quotes. And let's see what happens. We save our work, click run, run script. And there we have it. We have our new string that contains our new values. So again, we just used our array to set up some values, one, two, and three. And we used our join operator to convert our array values into a string. And again, it's, it's a value now 
by a string. So it's followed by our delimiter or our separator to separate our values, which is a comma. And we used our entire array called the my underscore array. Now again, we already know how to separate these values and store them in our scalar variable containers, which I showed you in previous in our previous lecture. So again, this is just a demonstration on converting an array into a string. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll answer them the best way I can and I'll see you guys in our next lecture.